Hey, it's Yoshimitsu from the Disney Infinity subreddit and DisneyInfinityCodes.com, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Replayer Creates of a Toy to show or hide any toy in the toy box. And this is useful for all sorts of things, especially toys uh, unlike the challenge orbs, where you can't just show and hide them naturally. So the first thing I'm going to do is I've got this set up here, and I'm going to show you how it works, and then I'm going to set it up again so you know how to do it. Um, on the left side, I've got my uh, recording switch, and on the right side, I've got my playback switch. So first, I'm going to show you the playback. I've got this mountain wedge here that I've programmed to show and hide when I turn the switch on and off. And if I wanted to, I can go ahead and start recording. And you can see the little red dot there indicating that you're recording. And just add something else. Stop the recording. And now we can show and hide that as well. So the other thing you can do here is, let's say I don't want this mountain wedge anymore. Go ahead and go back to record. And then just remove it. Stop the recording. And now we just have the second one. Alright, so how do we do this? It's pretty simple. Let's go over to this side and as you saw, the three toys I'm going to need uh, for the base setup are two switches and my replayer. I'm going to go to my favorites because I've got them all saved here. Put one switch there, one switch there, and replayer I just like to put in between them. And we want the on connection here to tell the replayer to start recording and the off connection here to tell it to stop recording. And here on on we want to play back and on off we want to clear. So I'm going to choose clear but you should know also there's the reset option down here and you'll you'll probably want a different switch if you're going to do that. That's how you actually clear everything from its memory. So if I have something set to reset, it'll just get rid of everything in the replayer. But yeah, I'm, I'm setting this to clear for now. Okay, so now we want to record. And just like before, place any old thing. And then tell it to stop. And now we can show and hide that object. So yeah, that's pretty simple. Um, if that's all you need, then you're pretty much done here, but there's a couple other things I'm going to show you about the replayer. Um, one is that the order that you place things is going to actually be... Oh, I need to start recording, actually. The order that you place things is going to be reversed when it, when it plays back. Um, and I'll show you what that means once I place a couple more things. So when we go to playback, it's pretty quick right now. I can actually slow it down. So here we can change the playback interval. Let's set it to 1. This will just make it really easy to see what I'm talking about. So you'll see that as the th I put the things in are how they appear. So yeah, since I placed this wall first, it shows up, then this shows up, then this shows up, then this shows up, then this shows up. So if you want the last thing you placed to be the first thing that appears, you can go here and change your on connection instead of playback to reverse playback. Pretty simple. So now we go back here, and now we're in the other order. And depending on what you're doing, that can be really handy because you may want if, if you're building a large setup, let's say, uh, you may want the last thing you place to actually show up first. So yeah, that's possible. Um, another neat thing you can do with the replayer toy, and this will involve setting up a second one, but uh, when these objects are gone, they don't exist anymore, obviously. Um, I'm going to use actually a bigger object just to make it really clear what I'm going to be talking about. But I'm going to add something very large 
something that takes up lots of space. So yeah, like one of these terrain blocks would be great. So let's put it here, just so we don't interfere with anything else I've got recorded. Stop recording. Now it's gone. And yeah, things are slowly popping back in. I'll go ahead and change this back up to pretty much instant, so we don't have to wait for everything to pop in. Okay, so we've got this large object here, right? Um, one thing you can do with the creative toy, the, the replayer toy, is you can put essentially two objects in the same space, and we'll set up another replayer. Oops. It's going to be just like before, so I'm going to kind of breeze through this. Okay, so just to remind us, we've got a giant mountain block right there. And what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to start recording and just put anything else there. Um, I'm going to make it, again, something somewhat large just so we can tell what's going on. So let's put a building of some kind. Uh, get something bigger than that. I don't have most of these unlocked. I guess I can just go and buy one, but okay, that'll be fine. So let's go ahead and put this right where the other one is. So yeah, now obviously that's very much in the same space as the other toy, but we can hide it. And now we can have two toys in the same space that alternate depending on whether you're showing uh, the toy. And I haven't actually tested this on PC, but I'm pretty sure if I show this, it'll even pop in collision. Yeah. So you can even have literally two toys in the same space, um, it kind of getting around the, the game's built in collision. And that can actually be, I, I was just thinking of this as doing this video, but that can be handy for a whole bunch of things. I may do another video showing you guys what you can do with that. But yeah, so you can put two toys in the same space that way. Um, the other thing that I wanted to show you. Um, gotta remember what it was now. <laughs> uh, well, I, I mean, I guess that's that's pretty much it for now. I'm, I'll probably do another video where I show you some of the other cool things you can do with the the replayer toy. But this is definitely one, oh, I remember now. Uh, just a second, but this is definitely one of the most powerful toys in the game. Um, and one thing that I can show you with that. So uh, if you if you're playing on uh, a console, let's say you have to pay close attention to this meter over here because it will keep track of like how much stuff you can have in the toy box. Um, using the replayer, you can actually get around those limitations somewhat um, because you can show and hide objects that take up memory. So, for example, I'm going to start recording and then I'm just going to place a bunch of NPCs, like a whole lot. Got to remember where they are. Yeah, it's going here. Um, and I want somebody that can actually move around. So yeah, Captain Marvel's fine. Just place a whole bunch of Captain Marvels. And you can see the meter on the right already building up, right? So I'm just going to keep placing them. I want to get that meter as high as we can get it. Hopefully they don't step on my switch. It's an honor to fight at your side, Okay, Captain so, Marvel. I mean, I don't know if you can tell on my video, but it's even getting a little bit framey now because of all these Captain Marvels I have. So I'm going to turn that off, and then I'm going to hide them. And now, my meter's back down. So I'll just do it again. Show them all, and you can see them pop in. You can see that meter building up. And yeah, this is actually still set to delay their appearance, so they'll take a little while to pop in. But as you can see, you can hide a good amount of stuff 
with this toy. And one video I've been wanting to do for a while, may do in the future, um, is showing kind of uh, how you can adjust your draw distance and you can make really big cities uh, by just showing and hiding things as you need to draw them. Uh, you, it could really help you get around the toy box limitations uh, using this toy. So that's it for now and I'll see you guys again in my next video.